Hi everybody. How are you doing? Hey, here I am, ready for you and your questions. Greetings from Spain, greetings from home, um, greetings from quarantine, greetings from locked lockdown. Um, tomorrow will be a day for me. Um, tomorrow I will actually. Yeah, that's the three weeks from now I have been in a lockdown. I haven't been anywhere. I have been at home, been a good girl. I've been running around the house. Luckily, I have one. I know that many of you people that have a teeny tiny apartment and not so much space to live in, this time is very challenging. It's challenging for all of us, but... Um, you know, my life situation, obviously, it has changed, but it hasn't changed that radically now because I'm a touring artist and uh, every time I have uh, come back home, I've been enjoying to be at home and I'm working at home, so uh, it hasn't changed that much. I'm actually really busy. Um, I'm working with my husband my daughter is going online school, so I need to be there for helping her. But uh, all the rest, we are happy and we are healthy. And I do so hope that you are all as well. So, hey, I'm here for your questions. So please hit me. Now I I, <laughs> I try start reading reading your questions. Please give me something. What is here? No. I'm doing something wrong. Hello, anybody there? Well, I cannot see anything. Ah, ah, I need to roll. All right, this is new for me. <laughs> hey, there are many greetings. Thank you so much. What has inspired... Um, Oh my god. Sorry. I'm just I'm just reading your questions because some of the <laughs> names that you guys are using as you as to identify you very difficult to read for me. <laughs> what has inspired you the most throughout your career? A lot of things inspire me in general. Uh nature is a big inspiration for me. Also people, you are the stories you hold, uh, the stories you tell to me, my journeys around the globe in general as an artist. I also love to travel despite of being an artist. I still love to um, explore new places. Uh, so, what underwater world? I'm a scuba diver. I That is inspiring me. The nature, in nature the majestic nature itself. But um, also, obviously, music is a huge inspiration still today. If I'm looking for inspiration, I'm listening um, various types of music, actually. I'm listening uh, movie uh, soundtracks, uh, if I'm looking for a more symphonic songs or uh, even classical music still. Um, really purely metal I do listen uh, when I'm working out, when I go out to run or something like that. Bands like In Flames, still Rammstein is one of my favorites, um, Disturbed, um, even Alice in Chains, bands like that. I do love very much guitar-based bands because guitar is uh, one of my favorite instruments. Very important when I'm writing songs. I'm usually writing songs with my guitar players, if not alone. And what then? I'm just running through your questions here. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, it's so many beautiful places and so many beautiful people. Malaysia, Argentina. Hey. Mitä kuuluu from Finland? <laughs> Hey, hyvä kuuluu karanteenissa, täydessä karanteenissa. Full quarantine. 
me and my family, we've been for three weeks now in full total quarantine. We haven't seen our friends, no family, no one. Um, my husband has um, or is going to supermarket um, maybe once in two weeks, something like that. He's been twice going out now. And um, uh, yeah, it's it's not a fun situation to be in. But as I am in this situation, as many of you guys, you are in the same situation. We all are. We are all in this. Mm. I find it quite um, interesting because the time is passing by. It's passing by quite fast, nevertheless, because I'm busy. I'm busy with my daughter. She's going to school, online school. Um, I am also doing lots of stuff work-wise at home. So the time is passing by, but also it's a this quarantine really... I believe it makes every one of us think what's out there. And like, you know, I miss so much just my daily walk. I miss so much to go out in the sun or if it rains or if, it, you know, whatever. I miss so much just to be there and take the air in yeah as simple as that we all miss different things and we are social creatures all of us we are meant to be with someone you know i love visiting my friends and family and gather them together to make big dinners and to you know celebrate life and togetherness and friendship and and yeah, it suddenly is like poof. But you can still get in. You can still keep on being in touch, and uh, that's the beautiful thing of the of this. That actually many of the people that I haven't heard since a long time ago, they have contacted me now. They're worried. Mm, situation in Spain is bad, so um, people get close to you, and that's a beautiful thing. We get to remember, we get to get reminded what is important in this life. The simple things in life are the most important. How can I? I am reading again here. Somebody, victim of ritual, is asking that if, if um, in este momento, in cuarentena, escribías, escribirás música nueva. That if I would be writing new music, sure, I have been writing new music and uh, I try to keep on writing new music. It's, it's my time now to do that. And... Uh, as isolated as we are, but it's, uh, I like the silence around. For songwriting, I need the silence and peace. So this is quite peaceful. You only hear the dogs barking somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And then, how do I live quarantine? Elderest is asking many ways. Um, I know I'm very lucky of having the space to live. Um, I even have a sauna here, sauna at home. Um, I have a gym at home. I can work out, in or out. Uh, I do work out six times a week because otherwise I will roll out of this house like a gigantic meatball. <laughs> But um, I'm used to work out, go out to run, and it's not the same, you know. You should be, you should see me running these stairs up and down in my house. Stairs are pretty good exercise, actually. You all should try that. So I made a, a few days ago. I have to tell you, I ran uh, quite many kilometers indoors. <laughs> in the house when it was raining i was running in the house and you must be cuckoo to do that but i am a little bit cuckoo but you know other than that i cook for my family i help my daughter in her school in her um, schoolwork 
with her schoolwork and uh, <clears throat> I write songs. I'm very busy with all the scheduling of the shows that got postponed. Um, we haven't been able to announce few of them yet that got postponed, but believe me, they will be there. They will be there and uh, you will get to see me again. Um, and many more, many more Christmas concerts. You just got to be patient. We will announce many more shows for In the Raw in the world and uh, we're working on it. We're working on it daily basis. There are lots of, lots of new stuff, exciting things, obviously. I'm always planning some new things for the future that I can't tell you too much about it. But yeah, always, you know, trying out, keeping it rolling. I, I must do that apart from songwriting and uh, rehearsing and singing and all that. Obviously, I keep on doing that as well. Uh, yeah. I am reading. <laughs> Come on, ask me questions. Where are the questions? <laughs> What are your next plans for your classical career? Wow, well, you know, I have this, uh, I don't know if you have been able to attend my um, Christmas concerts. Um, I've been doing those Christmas concerts almost yearly since, whew, since 2005 or four, something like that. Five, I think. Yeah. Um, it has become like a tradition for me to do these Christmas concerts and um, and they are not only Christmas carols that I'm singing in those concerts, they are also some part of it, it's a purely classical and like Ave Maria or so things, works from Bach or other from Mozart, other composers. Um, I am training, I'm training vocally, I'm still training a lot, classical singing, I'm also having singing lessons, as we are all now using the time online, I'm having my vocal coach in Buenos Aires, so we are in touch online, like we all are, now she's teaching me through the seas. <laughs> and uh, it's great, I mean, I have to keep on doing that, I really... I feel that that's the only way for me to go. I never get to know too much about singing. I really hope that they will never come, that I will say that now I know everything about singing, because that won't be it. Or oh, it will be the end of it. <laughs> but I hope to do a lot, uh, a lot more classical concerts in the future, and uh, even hopefully record an album, classical album, another album. I have only one so far, so. But time is my enemy. Do you hear music in your dreams? A beautiful question. <laughs> Do you hear music in my dreams? Do I dream? I dream a lot. I'm, actually, I, I dream... I, I'm a crazy dreamer. I'm, a, I'm also like a... I am not a lucid dreamer. My husband is one, and I know other people that are lucid dreamers, that I can control their dreams. That would be fantastic. I am not one of those, but uh, I'm a crazy dreamer. I, my dreams are kind of... You should <laughs> get in here, what's going on here. Uh, a lot during night time, I think. <laughs> but music, yeah, I, I hear music in my dreams. I wish I would wake up one day and say, hey! I just wrote a song at night. I know some people do that. Hmm, hasn't happened to me yet. That would be wonderful. <laughs> what do you think the direction of your next album will be? Yeah, well, hey, it kind of depends on my mood or what I wanna, what I wanna say. Now it's still very early to say what is it gonna be like. I mean, in the raw was released last year in August. I've been touring just a fraction of all the touring that is gonna be 
happening in the future with that album. So it's very early, but I have nevertheless, I have started to write music for the future album, future rock album. I am getting more liberated, more free in my songwriting. So in that sense that I I don't think too much. I am getting out of all my boxes and everything that I have learned before. So to say so that I can just go where it feels right for me. I'm writing the songs for myself and I believe getting more progressive in that sense because of the freedom that I have in hand. I don't want to tie myself in structures when I'm writing songs. Uh, but heavy it will be. Symphonic, yes, it will be. Because those two things in my life are very well balanced at the moment. I'm a classical singer. I'm a lyrical singer. And I'm also a rock singer. I'm a rock artist. I've been combining these two worlds since ever, you know... No, since ever you might know me. And I have uh, found a beautiful harmony in between those two sounding very different worlds, but they are not as that to me. They are very much in harmony in my life. So symphonic side is like my first love in music. And uh, rock, metal is currently giving me the energy to and fun. I can have fun with that. So you can expect an album that is kicking and heavy and and with all the things that In The Raw has, never forgetting being the symphonic as I am. So I think, even though I have maybe written a couple of songs yet, but I wouldn't dare to go too far. No, too different. <laughs> Where is the best place I have gone into diving? Gone in diving, somebody's asking me. Hi, yeah. Well, the best place for me so far has been in Egypt, I think. I I was there before my daughter was born. I I went there with my husband. We made a like a, we went on a safari, diving safari. Uh, we lived in a boat for seven days a week, and we started diving very early in the morning, like six thirty in the morning. We were already the first dive. We were in the water already. The Red Sea, perfectly clear water with full of life. That was beautiful. It was near Hurghada that place in Egypt. Um, we enjoyed it so much. We had like four dives per day for six days, I think. What an amazing experience. I am reading again. Cuídate, no salgas. No salgo. Estoy en casa todo el tiempo. <laughs> que se tranquilicen. No, I am at home all the time. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I've been at home for three weeks. So, yeah, I know you are in quarantine in Argentina as well. Yeah, we are in Spain. Many other countries are. Um, not an easy time for anybody, but we can do it. We are all in this. We are all in this. Hey, winter storm, Slovakia. And hey, every every winter storm in the world, my fan clubs, you're doing an amazing job. You're keeping, you're kicking me and you're keeping me going. And it's amazing to have you guys around. Really, they're supporting me. Estás cocinando mucho. I am not a master chef, to be honest. Hey, there is a program you should all see next week. Uh, I don't know if that service is available abroad, but it's an internet service. Rutu, Rutu. Um, I took part of a Michelin chef. Hans Valimäki came came to visit me uh, some months ago, and I'm cooking with him. But he's the one that is cooking, so <laughs> I'm not a master chef. He's a 
You wanna come? Come. There is somebody who wants to come to say hello to you. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I hope you feel better. Better and hope you are all fine. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You don't know this one is my treasure. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. She's a little, really little crazy cuckoo. Or what? I don't know. Yeah, just a little. She's getting so big. Time is flying. <laughs> Aren't you allowed to go outside? No, we are not allowed to go outside, unfortunately. So we've been indoors. Well, we, we've been outside of our house. That's for sure. We've been enjoying the trampoline. No? Trampoline. Yeah. Running outside and uh, trying to enjoy the days when the sun is shining, really. Being there outside and doing even push-ups. And swimming. And sw yeah, swimming. In a crazy cold water, in a pool, very cold water. Mm. <laughs> Will you come to Ukraine again? Ukraine? Am I going to Ukraine again? I think I am. I'm going to Ukraine very, actually very soon. We are, we are closing the dates for Ukraine. Hmm? Hablamos un ratito en español. <laughs> Mi español. Mm. <laughs> Tarja, you are the hero of my childhood. Thank you. That means I'm only getting older. Thank you so much. <laughs> Being so kind and honest with me. How old are you now? <laughs> hey, Venezuela. How are you guys doing in Venezuela? That must be... Oof. You have had a, such a bad time for such a long time. And now this. Oh, God. What else? South of Italy loves you. I love you too. Stay strong. Would you go to Ukraine? Of course I'm going to Ukraine. I told you I'm going to have some concerts there. Can I tell you? I'm going to have some Christmas concerts there. I'm going to have some rock concerts there. So you're going to see all of those sides of me. And what else? Hacer en concierto en Argentina en este año. Uh, it's a, it's, if I'm gonna go to have a concert in Argentina and this year, it looks quite difficult. You know, so many concerts have been postponed now because of this coronavirus situation in the world. And we've been needing to really reorganize them for the next year to come because no one really knows how long this situation will last. And uh, it's hard. Everybody, every artist is in the same situation as I am. So everybody's booking their shows for future and the venues are getting, everybody's getting bloated, bloated. So um, we need to wait and see. We are doing the, we are doing every day the best we can. It's really to rebook everything. And so, and, and I, as I said in the beginning of my stream that, there will be a lot more concerts to come, so just be patient. There will be a lot more in the raw concerts in the world happening. There will be also Christmas concerts, other happenings, other events. And so you will see me touring a lot because I've done only a fraction of, of the album touring so far. What drink helps you unwind? Well, um... Happy Friday for everybody. <laughs> Let me. You want to know what wine is this? Actually, it is. Um, it's an Argentinian Malbec. It's an Argentinian Malbec. It's a Rutini Malbec. <laughs> One of my favorites. When are you planning to release my new album? Oof. Wow, well, let's say like this corona situation kind of uh, slowed everything down, sort of, or not for me in general, I've been working like a dog from home together with my husband, you know, organizing stuff, but 
releasing the new album that is uh, way too far of a thought sort of because um, there are so many things or even some releases before my rock album that I can say <laughs> what is it? Oi, oi, oi. What I'm doing here? Something I'm uh, trying to read you. How is your Spanish going? Very muy mal. <laughs> Do you speak port Portuguese? Ay, no, no. Perdón. No. I understand. I, I understand some Portuguese. Obviously, well, the Portuguese from Brazil more than Portuguese from Portugal, I think, because I was living in Buenos Aires almost for 10 years time and I've been in touch, I have friends in Brazil, a lot of friends in Brazil, and so I get to understand quite a lot of your talking, but, uh, but uh, if I need to stop talking, no, 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 no puedo falar, no puedo falar, no puedo falar, portugués. <laughs> I feel that I lose my creativity. Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> How many times? Yeah, it has happened to me that I feel like, oh God, I cannot, I go in front of my piano, piano, which is the instrument I usually write my songs with. I go in front of the instrument and I'm like, and today it's not my day. Those times I just, not that I feel that I will lose my creativity, but it's just the moment when I can say to myself, not today. The time will come. Just be patient. To be a creative person is not that you can just push a button and say, okay, let's do a... Not, at least not for me. There has to be a reason to, first of all, write a song or, you know... Uh, I want to keep on being inspired uh, and so that is something I am seeking for all the time to get inspiration from somewhere whether you whether reading something interesting or you know going out in nature or listening great piece of music that I haven't heard before or something that gets my attention and it's like hmm, that's cool um, always keep my mind and ears and eyes open for new things. I like that. Um, yeah, France is waiting for the show dates. I know you are guys waiting for the show dates and we are do we are working on it and uh, just I ask you a little bit more patience. I know it's hard, but we're working on it and definitely we will we will get to you, we'll get to announce the dates quite soon in my social media and all the other platforms. You will, you will definitely get to hear the news, but don't worry. I mean, everything is like a huge, massive bubble of uh, un, uh, in the unknown world. Uh, Everybody is in the same situation. So, But we're working on it, and so you will get to see me in France as well. How is Marcelo? Well, how is he? I hope he's fine. He's with me and with Naomi here at home. Um, we are, you know, working together and um, living in a quarantine for three weeks now, in a total quarantine, not being able to go out or anything, only outside of the house, surely, walking, running, trying to enjoy the sun when it's up there. But we haven't been seeing our friends, no family, no nobody. So. ¿Qué, role, ¿Qué reloj estoy usando? Estoy usando un reloj de deporte. Es un deporte. Is this a, It's a... I think... No, it's not a Finnish brand. Polar. It's a Swedish brand. The Swedes. The Swedes. Polar is a Swedes. Yeah. It's a sport watch. So I can see how many kilometers I run every day. 
I work out a lot because otherwise, oof. yeah. Hey, I have some questions here from from the venue in Brazil called Tom Brazil. Tom Brazil um, made a interview with my fans, um, Brazilian fans, and uh, they sent me some interesting questions I would like you to share with you. And uh, for example, Rogerio Pesanya, oi, gee, really? Rogerio Pesanya is asking, a song that fans can expect to see live and railroads, can we see it soon on the set list? I have been currently, or in the raw tours, I've been playing majority of the songs from my latest album in the raw, among the songs from my career in general, songs from, from my rock albums. Um, but uh, especially this request of railroads, I've been reading lots of requests of me to perform railroad song. And it's a very important song for me as well as it is, it is for you guys because you participated in the music video in the making and it became very emotional to me and everybody. Um, it's a beautiful song which I'm very, very happy about the outcome and everything. But I cannot sing that live. <laughs> Just to be honest with, the, with you guys, uh, it's a very... If, if one of you... Or some of you would lend me a couple of lungs, extra lungs, I could do that. But if not, hmm, there is a <laughs> bridge, this. <laughs> that I'm getting out of breath, you know? And uh, while I'm performing with my live band, I'm exhausted. My pulsations go like 130 almost through the whole whole concert of one hour and a half, one hour 45. So this song particularly will be impossible for me to do in my live concerts. I know that you will be so, so, so um disappointed with these news but it it is like that but i was thinking i can do something i i might play you this song alone with the piano like that i may take my time to breathe and i can work through the song some way or another so you will you i promise you i'll i'll do that song live from home in a couple of days and then I try to <gasps> breathe. <laughs> All right. So don't expect me to do that song in my rock concerts because it's rather impossible. Yeah, it's, you know, nobody's perfect, so they say. <laughs> hey, Chile is asking, "Cuando vendas a concep ah Concepción?" Oh. No sé, en Chile, Concepción, en Santiago de Chile, sí, ya tengo una fecha, creo, pero Concepción. No, me is so sweet, yeah, she's a sweet. <laughs> okay, another question from Brazil, from Tom Brazil. All right, Nin Rodes is asking, what do you think of the contact contact that the fans like to have when they are close to you? Like a hug, kiss, or typical Brazilian face, you know, face kisses, and which country do you feel most dear? The audience the most participates, sings and screams and blah, blah. Um, I was suffering quite a lot uh, on my last album with the in the in the row that I did in Portugal. I did some shows in Spain, in France. Um, I tried, nevertheless, we never ended up doing nothing because they sent us back home. 
all the concerts got postponed. Uh, I was suffering of the lack of, you know, not being able to be in contact with you people. Um, obviously, it's always a risk, no matter of this, uh, despite of this uh, virus situation, but I'm a singer and I need to take care of my voice. My body is my instrument. It's, it's not like something I can leave away and say, okay, well, I just push the button and I kind of work it out, no matter, no matter if I have a 40 degrees of fever and so, um, or terrible flu. I need to go on and uh, I hate cancelling concerts. I haven't been, thankfully, I haven't been needing to do that many times in my career of more than 20 years. But uh, but it's always a risk to be in touch with people in general because, you know, bacteria and viruses and everything. Everywhere. It's everywhere. They're everywhere. But I love to kiss my fans, to hug my fans, to be with you, to talk to you, to get your feedback, to to um, hear your feedback. I've been living in uh, Argentina almost 10 years and there we kiss, we kiss, we... I'm a Finn, you know, in Finland, people shake hands. Hello. That's our way, it's our custom, it's the Finnish way of, you know, greeting people hello with the handshake. I, I lived in Argentina, yeah, more than, well, almost that 10 years. And uh, I got so used of people, when they come into the room, they kiss everybody in around, and when they leave the room, they kiss again. And, <laughs> and I got used to that. And I don't mind about it at all. And I mean, it's a fantastic way to say, you know, I care for you and hope to see you again, or, you know, it's nice to see you, or, hey, I've missed you, or, yeah. So, it's the same with my fan, me and me and my fans. You, I mean, you you are there, you know. I, you are there, and because of you, I am here. So I, I don't have any problem with that. But this virus situation really knocked me over because I could not. I had my meet and greets organized. Um, I had people waiting to see me. I was waiting to see you, meet you, and I couldn't touch you, I couldn't hug you, I couldn't oof, get close to you, and so uh, it was a little bit like, hey, hey, uh. <laughs> you know, not the way I'm usually, mm. so, so that you know, I don't mind about it. Oh, you have sent me so many questions that it's imp <laughs> impossible to go through. What about Outlanders project? An album? Yeah, there is also a question I want to share with you. Hold on a second. There is like... Uh, Felipe, I think. No. MH2... Oh, too difficult even for me to get through the the tag but hey there is a question from Porto from um, Brazil from Tom Brazil asking what are your plans for this year and the next a successful DVD special participations new rock album or classic I've been telling you already I've been writing new songs or trying to get in you know the rhythm of writing new songs for the rock album it's still too early to say about the release or anything, you know, phew, I don't even know nothing about it. But, you know, I'm I'm trying to get myself into that writing first. Um, but what I have been doing at home is that I've been working on the um, live DVD release of the Best of Concerts, Best of Concert that was um, filmed in Bucharest, Romania. So... I hope I can show you some bits and pieces from that live release in a couple of days time so that you know what I've been working on. And uh, well, that release, hopefully you can expect, no sir, I hope this year, 
if everything goes fine. With ear music, with my label, we're we are in touch and planning our future, you know, and what is best for everybody. But uh, also another project is the Outlanders project. Uh, my friend Thorsten is working on it. And uh, yeah, we are getting there. Also with the electronic project, Outlanders. That's exciting. It's very different. You've heard me doing so far. So all these things and uh, yeah, special participations. Mm, I'm always doing something. I'm always planning something for the future. Not necessarily about singing, but other things. Mm, that was already too much that I said. All right, next. <laughs> um, Oh, my dream that you and Andrea Pocelli sing together. Well, believe me, one of my dreams as well. Uh, what is your biggest fear? That's a, that's a difficult question. What is my biggest fear? that something bad would happen to my family and that I care so much, I love them. My biggest fear that I would lose them and stay alone in this world, probably. Also, something like um, of losing my voice that I wouldn't be able to sing anymore, probably, because that's the way just that's who I am. My singing is the way I breathe. So that would be devastating. There is another, oh God, now it became very serious. So <laughs> um, there is another question from Brazil. Camila, Br Camila Brn Siete is asking, does Taria read all the letters? I mean, do I read all the letters that I get from you guys? I do read all the letters that I get. I usually get the letters while I'm on tour. You write me beautiful letters. And uh, yeah, I do read your letters. And then Felipe Costenaro is asking, we can expect a classical concert from you here in Brazil someday. Would be wonderful, wonderful. It would be amazing to make a classical concert in Brazil. It's been a long time. I think I, have, I was making with not just Scandinavia when I was very young and, you know, I, I think I made a, not just Scandinavia concerts in Brazil, but that has been the last time I have been making classical concerts in Brazil. Any promoters? Hello, here I am. I'm really willing to <laughs> come to you with all my classical projects that I have. So plenty of them. Just take any and I will be there. Guys, I really depend on the promoters bringing me. This goes to everything. I mean, every country, every place I would love to visit, I would love to visit as an artist. If there is no promoter willing to bring me, I can't do that, unfortunately. I need to get a partners, which I do have in many countries, thankfully. I need to get partners that trust in my abilities and uh, trust that I will be something worth of working with. So, the world is huge, but I would love to visit every, every one of you guys. And now I need to. <laughs> I'm just trolling here through your questions because you go so fast. Saludos. Oi. <laughs> oh, so many people from Brazil and so many people from all over the world. My God, it's so amazing. Argentina. <laughs> you can have my lungs. It's fine. Thanks. Hey, <laughs> that was a good one. Thanks. 
<laughs> uh, circular breathing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be fantastic. I mean, hey. <laughs> uh. <laughs> do you get nervous before going on stage? Yeah, I do get nervous. <laughs> I do get nervous. I need to get actually a little bit nervous. If I don't get nervous, I I know that oh, something is going to go so wrong. And it has happened so many times. Mm, I really need to get this kind of uh, little butterflies, you know, because it's absolutely important to, to have to like a, I you know, the, I don't know, feeling inside. But I want to, I want to, Kill it, but you know, there has to be something like makes you think further, makes you concentrate. And uh, that little bit of um, those little butterflies in my belly, Tommy, they, they really make me concentrate better. They help me to get better to kill it. And so, yeah, and especially when it's about the classical concerts or so where I'm seeking for perfection, then I'm getting very nervous. Still do. It's good. <laughs> Moment of silence, I'm reading. How you spend your free time now? Oh, do I have any free time? I'm with you. <laughs> I'm talking with you. That's my free time. Yeah, I spend my free time with my daughter, helping her, doing her tarea, her schoolwork. Lots of tarea. Um, and uh, I'm doing gym almost every day, at least six times a week. I try to change my workout a little, you know, from day one to two and then again. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I cook, I watch movies, I um, enjoy some series in Netflix, I play piano, I write songs, I answer some interviews and I am um, working for the future concerts planning some crazy stuff for the future and what else you know enjoying my home as I really I am at home at the moment now 24 7 have been for three weeks now uh, but um, I'm fine I'm I'm really feeling good about this but um, there are moments that when I mean, every one of us, we go deep and you know. And what would be the first thing I would do when all this is over? I miss so much going just stroll for a stroll in a street and looking at the sea or touching the trees or smelling the leaves or of the trees or something like that. Just looking at the blue sky, simple things. Do I have a favorite song to perform live? Not really. I don't have, um, I, you know, I'm lucky to have several songs to play live in my, in my live sets in general. I have many albums already. Uh, I've been lucky girl to be able to continue a long solo career, so to say that, um, I have a collection of songs where I can that I choose, I can choose to play, to sing, uh, favorite songs. Hmm. Those are usually the songs that are more demanding for me vocally. Uh, I'm a crazy lunatic in that sense. When it comes to singing, I really, I want to challenge myself always. That is my, my, one of my biggest motivations is still my voice today that it keeps me going forward. Um, it keeps me working hard. So. Um, I'm reading. 
meeting again. There. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other things that from Brazil I'm reading here? Thank you for being 20 years a fan of mine. That means we have got and gotten all together. <laughs> That's great. Hmm. In Finland, como se suelen saludar. I think that you've seen me doing it. In Finland, you just shake hands. And... Uh, Yes, I'm just reading here. Mm -hmm. And uh, and in general, like people have been um, asking about the social media, how I'm dealing with the social media, if I'm dealing with that social media my, myself, if I'm uh, working it on my own. I am. Uh, do the, are you still there? Gee, I got a bad connection. Ooh, keeps on. Oh yeah, internet going down. I was telling about the social media that I'm really, I'm taking care of my social media accounts, my own. I am posting Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter. I'm doing it on my own. Nevertheless, I have a team of people working for me, but nothing goes without my knowledge there. So you can... I can guarantee you that uh, I'm there. Yeah. But because of uh, I am doing it, I'm doing it all so I am also having the lack of time in responding you all. You know, I would love to do that. I would love to be able to do that, but I'm I'm super busy all the time and uh, working all the time and being a mother and uh, you know it's uh, it's a lot of work mm, to be an artist. Um, if I compare my life while I was in a band, I was, I would say, just a singer in a band. Um, I was having quite a plenty of free time, but hey, as an artist, I am taking care of everything on my own. So that means everything. It's a twenty four seven of being an artist and being a mother. Uh, over seven years old, so it's not an easy task. But um, just bear with me. I'm I'm there. It's me posting in the social medias and uh, on my accounts. <laughs> She's waiting to come back. Uh. <laughs> I'm having hot cheeks. Ai, miten kuuma. Ai, miten kuuma. Mm. Are you drunk? No, I'm not drunk. I just had my first zip of that wine. Sorry, guys. I might take a second zip of that wine. Even though I don't need that much. You know, I get easily ooh, ooh, a little bit happy. <laughs> but I am not drunk. Not yet. It's Friday. No, just kidding. We are at home. I'm trying to get you here. What is your greatest dream? What is your greatest dream? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. Your greatest dream? Go to judo. Going to judo. You just want to go to judo. <laughs> yeah, well, you're missing your judo lessons. Or oh, school, no? Hmm. I like school and internet, I think. Yeah, online schooling. You like that. Well, my greatest dream would be that this terrible virus that is making us so scared and... and, and uncertain about our future is gonna let us live our life go back to normal as soon as possible it's something we are not living a 
it's it's like a bad movie we are on at the moment living in a bad movie, you know. Hmm. So I hope it's gonna go away and we all can go back to normal. We are fine, thank you. Me and my family, we are really perfectly fine, and and um, and we are taking care of each other. None of us is sick, and we are happy and healthy, sharing this time together at home. And and I really wish that uh, you can find the strength in yourself to live through these times. Um, I'm here for you. I am here with you. I will be connected again with you in a couple of days. Now I would encourage you to, in a couple of minutes, minutes actually to go and check my friends Elise's, Elise Ruud from Amarante, her live stream from home. Oh, I don't know, is she at home? Probably not. But anyway, her live concerts for Together at Home series and so enjoy elise in her life instagram and and uh, thank you for being there today with me hope you enjoyed my small talk thank you for all these beautiful questions you sent me you're amazing uh, uh, thank you so much for being there i am here for you just remember that i love you all Take care. Bye-bye.